So this step is your first step in creating your alabrije. You're going to be making the body. So you're going to have a piece of clay. Twist it into two pieces and then twist each of those pieces into two more. So you're going to end up with four. You're going to choose two that are about the same size and your first step is to roll each one into a ball. Then you're going to make each one into a pinch pot. So you're going to take your thumb, you're going to stick it into the clay, and then you're going to make a crab claw and pinch around the edges. Now think about what shape you want it to be in though. Do you want it to be a long skinny one? Do you want it to be a short fat one? It all depends on the animal you pick for your alabrije, whichever one the body is going to be. Then you want to make sure you tap the rim so that it's flat, easily to attach to the other pinch pot that you're going to be making with the other ball of clay. When you're done, put them together, make sure they're the same size, and then take them back apart. Then you're going to grab one of the extra pieces of clay that you have and you're going to tear off little tiny pieces and roll them into balls. Make sure they're not too big. You want to make them pretty small because they're actually going to be going inside the body of your animal. So the next step is to take some paper towels and wrap each little clay ball up in a paper towel. Now this is so that it doesn't stick to the inside of that clay rattle. Once it goes in the kiln and it gets heated up, that paper towel will burn off and the clay will get hard and then when you shake it, you'll be able to hear the jingle. Then after you've put them all in one side, you're going to take your needle tool, you're going to scratch, water, scratch, attach to both of those pinch pots that you've created because you're going to be attaching them together. Then you're going to stick them together. You don't want to squeeze them too tight, but make sure they're stuck together. Then after that, you're going to use your thumbnail and your fingernail, your pointer fingernail, and you're going to smooth out that seam so that you can't tell where the two pinch pots were put together. You can't see that line anymore. That's your goal to make that line invisible. Once you're done with that, use your thumb to smooth out any extra marks that you can see or things like that. Get those marks off there so that you can't tell where the two pinch pots were put together. You can't see the seam anymore.
then after that you can do some final reshaping, maybe squeeze it a little bit one way, make sure it's the right shape that you want, and then you're good to go.